Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, the foot birthday hype is here and the market is crashing like crazy. We have to look at a lot of prices today because cards are falling and they're going to fall even further as the panic, as the hype is really starting to set in because foot birthday is actually already underway. We have swaps in the game. We had a swaps SBC yesterday. We got a free token and there was a token in the store. We already have three tokens so far released for foot birthday swaps. We have icons for foot birthday confirmed via the loading screen. Guys, it is going crazy. And to top it all off today, we have player of the month Mbappe as an SBC dropping today in the game. So absolutely wild times right now in this game. I want to talk to you about what all is going on and what to expect in the coming days. And just look at some of these prices because it is crazy and a lot of people are losing coins. That's the bad part about a crash like this. But the market was so high, it's, it was going to be pretty crazy. So if the video helps you out at all today, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Let's first, like we usually do, just take a little bit and look back at yesterday's content. We had the Alex Oxlade Chamberlain. This isn't crashing the market. Even this SBC right here is not crashing the market. But foot birthday swaps and the loading screen that we had yesterday on a Monday. How often do we get loading screens on Mondays, right? Not that often. That started the panic and that started prices dropping yesterday. Yesterday. It definitely wasn't the ear pods in backwards uh, hat Alex Oxlade Chamberlain very mid card right still fun to use still a part of this objective that we are doing right now but kind of mid and the SBC was pretty cheap at least that is nice and that swap token SBC of course along with the swap um, not as not even a swap pack a swap token pack that was in the store 90,000 coin pack I opened it with coins to get the swaps tokens we are three tokens in to the swap promo for foot birthday and these are going to be some of the rewards and this is what we know about it this is the exact same text from um, a little message that ea put in game there's going to be 30 tokens and the rewards are going to be put in game next monday so this coming monday technically now is when we will be able to start to redeem our tokens and it's going to be like the same we saw with the future stars and the winter wild card swaps we are going to have tokens available in objectives sbcs and the moments and of course bonus tokens in the store so 30 tokens plus whatever bonus um, again the rewards are on the 27th the two rewards that ea teased for us right in that little loading screen or infographic they put out was a team one foot birthday pack for three tokens and then 10 tokens for an 85 times 10. Now, also as a part of this, you may have heard some rumors about Ronaldinho being a part of the foot birthday swaps or something included with foot birthday because FIFA Real Mania, who leaked, um, a, has leaked a lot of stuff before, he is on par with foot share for like very high quality leaker. He kind of posted this little Brazilian graphic down here. Um, when somebody replied to him saying leak the icons right and there's been if you look at the most popular page on footbin ronaldinho's cards are not there right now but ronaldinho's uh been a very kind of it's been the rumors that ronaldinho is going to be somehow included in either this promo as a t or as a foot birthday icon which we'll look at is going to be a part of a birthday or it might actually be a part of the foot birthday swaps program so that would be massive right we just had cruyff if we have dino as well that would be absolutely crazy. So that's kind of the up-to-date news and information about what happens and what is happening with Foot Birthday right now at the moment. Very interesting thing to note about Ronaldinho as well is uh, his birthday is today. So if they were to drop a Ronaldinho SBC on the same day as Mbappe, I think that is not going to happen. But somehow... Ronaldinho is probably going to be included inside of foot birthday is the way that it looks. Now, that was kind of all that happened yesterday. Now, currently on the market, as you guys know, the market prices are crashing. Player prices are absolutely dying. I am losing coins. A lot of people are losing coins. I'm losing coins just trying to trade with some of these cards as the market has been going down. We made some profits yesterday. Um, the Sanchez, the QL was sold at a good price. This Mudrick, I got out on a basically tax loss, sold these trends for like Five to 7k profit a piece but i'm losing tax plus 50k on this alaba um i'm losing on uh i'm losing on some cards i haven't even sold yet i still have a saliba saliba is like 800k he was a million yesterday right and the market is really really crashing because of this right here and you saw it when we loaded into the video it is this loading screen right here that is really creating a 
ton of the market panic. And this is the second loading screen that EA put out because at first they only showed the foot birthday car design, which was like, okay, yeah, we, we figured foot birthday was coming, right? Not to be surprised because last week it didn't, you know, we were not getting it. We were waiting for it, never dropped, right? It's confirmed. Now, foot birthday is officially coming and it's almost like EA or, um, you know, I don't know, maybe taking a bit of a joke here at leaks uh, because all this stuff on the loading screen is all about like top secret. You, keep, you see at the top here, private and confidential. At the bottom left, it says Bureau of Independent Revelry and Gatherings for Ultimate Team. And there's like, you know, kind of a, a blacked out issue date. There's a little, little stamp right behind me here in the corner that says the same thing. Um, it's it's kind of interesting what they're doing with this. Are they kind of, you know, making fun of leaks or whatever? But regardless, whatever the point is, foot birthday, car design, and foot birthday icons on this current loading screen. Of course, promo starts on Friday per normal time. You know, everything going on with a normal promo start time is there, but this is crazy, right? And this is the foot birthday icon being added to the loading screen is what really started a lot of the panic because this got people thinking like, oh my goodness, EA is going to be going all out with this promo. And you see some of the prices that we're looking at right now. We talked about it earlier in the weekend. Prices that were already starting to drop as we knew Foot Birthday was coming near was a lot of the fantasy cards, right? Because they had been the most invested in and a lot of people were investing in these cards. Fabian's 200K, man, like that's crazy. So you're seeing a lot of drop off there. And we're going to look at that a bit more in a second. But another reason why the market is down and why prices are really starting to drop too is as the hype for Foot Birthday builds, we have our first first leak and it is an SBC and it's Pedri and again guys this is a massive player to be leaked as an SBC like this is crazy right five star skills Pedri he just had a team of the year honorable mentions cards so the fact that Pedri is listed to get an SBC during foot birthday probably this Friday right you would imagine that's going to be our big Friday SBC for a marquee start to a promo like that means EA is not just releasing cards that haven't had promo cards this year as a part of foot birthday this gives us hope and this makes us think that EA are going crazy with foot birthday right and they usually do drop a really really good foot birthday promo uh, but this is going to be a promo I think that really kind of boost the meta we've been talking about it right but if they're putting big name players in like this ea has been draining our coins for the past week especially with this footballers promo with all of the fodder right this is going to be a hard hitting uh pack based promo with insane cards and packs with icons and packs now as well and there's a lot more hype to build for this foot birthday promo in the coming days now here's the issue with the market right now yes prices are dropping a lot and the real thing that's going on here is this icon card design was not added to the loading screen um until about I don't even know. Maybe it was like a few hours ago. It's been a couple hours now, but a lot of people, I think, you know, it's been not super publicized. This, I guess, I think a lot of people are going to wake up today and be like, what? Icons are a part of a birthday? And I think the panic selling is going to continue. If you take a look, a lot of these cards have really only been dropping for the past like two to three hours, but the damage has been done. Uh, a tall 286, now down for, he was 277, right? And as you kind of take a look into the early hours today on Tuesday, he's gone from 270 down to 240,000 coins. Guys, these price drops are ridiculous. Upa Meccano, who was already down so much from 800,000 coins almost, he is 400K and below. These guys have halved in price since the weekend. And even since yesterday, Upa Meccano was solidly uh, sitting around 500K. You can see, right? It was a couple hours after content. This is content right here, 6 p.m. UK. He was 488. And then boom, this loading screen got updated. And this is when people started panicking big time because this looks like EA are going all out and Oop Makano is down another 100,000 coins plus to 395 and again that's where we see the most panic right now on the fantasy cards the fantasy heroes and the road to the finals but it's not just those cards right the entire market is definitely dropping down because people are seeing that foot birthday looks legit now i do have to say this this market crash was really i mean you hate to say that it was needed right but we were due and we've been talking about it for a long time um and bape is probably not the best card uh, to look at here for an example but some of these promo cards that have like absolutely 
ballooned since team of the year the market we talk about has been so high since team of the year look at this griezmann right five star five star griezmann such a great card team of the year he was 483,000 coins he was all the way up at 800k some of these guys almost doubled in the last kind of two and a half months or two months since team of the year um and we were due we knew we were going to get a massive massive market crash and guys, it's here, right? And that's why I feel like some of these cards, do I believe Lucio is going to go back to 1.2 million coins? I don't, right? I mean, yes, we're going to get some really insane cards coming out in the next couple of weeks, next couple of months that could bring this guy back down to like 1.2 mil during team of the season and stuff like that. Do I believe there's a lot more demand for the high tier market uh, now since the second half of the year always bringing some new players into the game? Um, you know, just some of the other reasons I think EA reported in the last quarter that they have so many new players that are coming on the game. So many players have been able to save up coins. These cards have gotten ultra rare because nothing has challenged them as the best in the game. Do I believe these guys will go back down this low? No. But do I believe that 2.2 still is way too much for Lucio? I do. I really do. Now, is it going to be 1.3, 4, 5 mil tomorrow? I doubt it. But I just feel like this market on the top tier, on the middle tier, uh, does have some room to drop. Now, some cards really haven't moved at all. Like, if you take a look, I doubt we're going to find too many right here on the top of Footbin. But, you know, let's even take a look at Cancelo. 450k for Cancelo. Yeah, he's down about, you know, 30 or 40,000 coins. But that is nothing compared to how far down some of these other cards are in price. And if there is a card right now that's in your team um, that is, like, not down that much, even for... Eder Militao, who is in the current team of the week, who is down, uh, you know, he was basically the same price as he was yesterday. A lot of this stuff, I do think, is going to fall further. Um, and that's why if I were you and you have some, especially mid to high tier, just meta cards that are in your team that you don't think, uh, especially for some of these like World Cup heroes like Rudy Voller, 700k. Um, I mean, wow, he was 700k in January, went all the way up to like 900, and now he's down a lot. But specifically, if, it's, if you have a card that is still up a lot, over time since like team of the year and stuff like that really think about taking the cash i i do think the top tier market's going to continue to take a hit if they're releasing new icons right that could mean some really new top tier meta cards in the promo team for foot birthday as well as with the icon so all of that to say you know with these prices they look crazy and i've been watching cards right it's going to be very risky to try to buy cards during this time there will be low points before the foot birthday promo and i'm going to say this too some of these cards are going to get low and they're going to get panic sold. They're going to continue to drop and they're going to reach low points before Friday. Uh, that will be really good buying opportunities, but it's going to be very hard to know which cards will go up right away. It's going to be very hard to know when to buy. So the way that I would look at it is this. You want to see card prices drop off really, really insane amounts. Um, and you just have to be really, really careful with live cards because, again, remember that these cards, uh, like 390 for UPA, still getting listed. These cards from this most recent promo are the ones that are being listed up so much and that have been invested in so much. And that's why they're dropping off a lot because people are panicking, right? That is the whole premise of what's going on right now. Panic selling, right? Ruben Diaz is 800,000 coins. This guy was 1.1. Hasn't even played a game yet, right? No potential upgrades for him yet. These foot fantasy cards at some time in the next week, uh, maybe even into the next couple of days, will be fantastic investments as well since they are still live. Again, you just have to remember, it's a bit of a long waiting period because you've got international break upcoming. And you've got all of that going on. So I know it sucks to lose coins. And I know that these prices uh, seem really low. But I, I just do believe that they can go lower, right? I do believe they can go lower. I'm not saying that every single card from here is going to drop 50% more. Like the Lucio, it's up so much. That's kind of a rare example, right? But I do believe card prices are going to drop a bit more in the coming days because I think people are going to wake up today, see the uh, icon card on the loading screen. They're going to see more leaks, right? We're going to start to get more leaks for this stuff. We're going to start to hear more information about for the birthday. And if that's the way we're starting off with leaks and with uh, those stuff on the loading screen, it looks like EA is, is going pretty crazy for this promo. So with that being said, it's crazy time. So do what you got to do. I know it sucks to lose coins. And for a lot of cards, I do believe they will go lower. I don't think this is the low point yet, but we're getting near um, some low points for some of the most rare cards that are, you know, especially for some of these fantasies, they're probably going to get to their lowest points earlier than later because people will want to invest in these uh, because they know they're alive and they'll be willing to wait because some of these guys are like way lower than what they were when they're in packs. Even some of the fantasy cards that are getting upgraded this week 
Uh, this is a real potential, risky potential here, but very decent potential to try to quick flip. Like Park Ji Sung is 800k. This guy was 1.1, uh, and, and some of these guys are due upgrades. I don't believe Park is. Um, that's maybe not the best example, but some of these other hero cards, like Papan is doing upgrade. He is down. Uh, let's see, from Team 1 of Fantasy Heroes, who else is doing upgrade? Ricken. I bet he Pele is really low. Um, you know, you know see, he's really down as well. So that's kind of the situation going on in this game is just a lot of panic selling. Watch it. Be careful with it. And, you know, if you want something for your team, if a price looks low enough to you and you're happy with it, then just buy the card and just kind of, you know, go with it from there. Now, all that being said, with the craziness of the market, it another reason why it could continue falling lower today is Mbappe is getting a play of the month SBC today. We know it's happening because the official France FIFA account, the UNFP France League One uh, account, tweeted that Mbappe is getting an SBC today. Foot Sheriff also tweeted a couple hours ago, confirming it. So today should be the 93 player of the month Mbappe, which is also making us think about SBC fodder. Now we're in a really weird scenario where we're about to get an insane SBC player in Mbappe, but we also have a ton of panic selling and a lot of prices on the market that are absolutely dying, right? So fodder though is on the upside still, right? You've got 82s at 1.8k, you've got 83s at 3.7, 84s still around 7,000 coins, 85s are like 16, 17k. A lot of these prices are up except for, you know, 87s and 88s, they're down a little bit. Um, so the, the panic selling hasn't really impacted this part of the market yet because there's still a lot of SBCs that are out there. Now, the Mbappe play of the month today, um, it, we're really watching like the 90s and the 91s. Now, we know this is going to be a big SBC, and we doubt that EA is going to make it super duper cheap, especially with the swaps program that is upcoming. And uh, a lot of people are going to be able to craft a play of the month Mbappe or have potential to do that over this next um, couple of weeks of the swaps program. So... Uh, you know, the only thing that I don't like about this stuff right now and the high tier fodder is the fact that everybody right now, especially those who have invested, are are thinking about selling, right? Everything is right now like, oh my goodness, panic, sell, foot birthday is insane, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it doesn't make sense, but with everything else going down on the market, could that also happen to fodder today? Could the investors just look to sell right away when Mbappe is released and could prices on these 91s and 90s actually fall you know with the way the market is right now i was i started to elect to take some of the safe cash and i've started to slowly sell a couple of my 91s because i feel like today yes these guys could go up there's going to be so many high rated squads inside of mbappe it's going to be silly right you'd be like nate these are going to go up right you've been saying all week this is going to go up i do believe that but with how insane that loading screen looks with how the panic right now is in this game i kind of want to just take the safe cash on a few of these so I bet there's going to be some selling on these today just because people are going to see the same thing and the whole market is just crashing right now. And if you think about it, if you're going to do a play of the month Mbappe, you're probably just not going to shell out all the cash to do it today, right? Unless it's incredibly cheap and that would create a whole nother level of panic. And if EA makes the Mbappe SBC incredibly cheap that people who even have the 92 SBC want to upgrade to the 93, if it's that cheap today, we're talking like two mil or something crazy, ridiculous, then I'll say whatever EA GG's you got me. I sold my fodder early and I'm going to lose out on potentially making coins here. But I'm, I think that EA is not going to make it cheap because it's Mbappe and they know they can get people to do it over the long run. So I still think Mbappe is going to be I don't know, a 3 million coin SBC. Um, and I do believe that if you have a gold Mbappe, uh, if you have a desire to get a gold Mbappe, this extra little bit of market crash is probably helping you out right now. I think this card will actually go up in price. It might get panic sold a bit more this morning because the rest of the market, I think, is going to continue to have some panic. But keep an eye on gold Mbappe today because I do believe he will bounce back. Keep an eye on the informs as well, depending on the price of this SBC. Mbappe informs are down horrendous 1.8 mil for this card. Uh, I'm sure the 93 Road to the World Cup is um, under 4 mil. Oh, it's not? Wow, okay. Well, this is still a super rare card. Well, he's 4.1. So I would still expect to see some panic on the Mbappe today. But uh, without an SBC, it's probably a day one complete for most people. I do believe that he will end up going up in price. Another question people have been asking is, where are our fantasy foot upgrades, man? I, I guess we're still looking to Wednesday, right? I guess we don't know. Um, I wish we could see when they were going to upgrade. We know all the ones that are going to upgrade, uh, and we're kind of waiting for that. That could draw some additional hype to some of these cards. 
if you know if there's rumors or if there's news or even when the fantasy upgrades go live if they go live at a random time today um, then what I would say is for some of the guys that are getting oh my gosh look at this Isak is 350k this guy was 420,000 coins and one of the cards that was not falling unless this was just an undercut you know what somebody really panicked on Isak he's actually 370 but he's still down right and this is a card that is getting a plus two very very soon even Saliba right this is the craziest thing about Saliba this guy is still an elite level center back in this game and uh, I mean behind Van Dyke for a Premier League striker he is there's nobody else uh, better in my opinion he is 820k he's getting an upgrade either you know tomorrow on Wednesday if they go ahead and do that so just be careful with those cards one last thing I will say too: team of the years a lot of people are asking me Nate should I sell like my team of the year Benzema and yeah these cards are dropping the only cards that I feel like can impact team of the years upcoming as a part of a birthday would be the icons and you're going to see some more panic on these but again like if you look at Benzema's price uh, right now 2.9 million coins compared to where a lot of you guys probably bought a Benzema team of the year. Yeah, if you sold on the weekend, you're loving life. You sold at 3-4, but is Benzema going to go down to 2 million coins like today, tomorrow? Like, no, I don't think so. These cards are still so clear of whatever else is in this game right now, and they are still so meta that I just doubt they are going to go all the way down to here. I mean, I, I, I don't even think Benzema is going to go below 2.5, especially um, just because this card is like still super uh, elite, super legit. You know, this Mbappe, 13 5 this guy was extinct for a while right he was from 9 mil all the way to 13 could he go to like 12 5 yeah maybe um, but this is still going to be better than any striker that has dropped in the game as a part of this promo um, unless they do like a foot birthday r9 then you know okay whatever maybe foot birthday r9 is better than this mbappe and could make him drop but you know for the super high tier part of the market i do see prices going down a bit more but also at the same time, these are still some of the most elite and meta cards in this game. Um, and I don't think that they will like absolutely go to the floor like we've been saying. So be very careful in the market right now. If you do want to try to trade, I mean like that Fede Valverde man is like so tempting. Even Upa Meccano like me, thinking about Upa Meccano and Fabian right now, it's just wild guys. You're telling me that a live card from PSG with the potential to upgrade is 190,000 coins right now. This card is 190. It's wild, man. It is absolutely wild, but these cards are fresh uh, and they're investments that a lot of people have made. And that's why you just got to be very, very careful. Look at all these Upmakanos. Like, no games played. These are pure investments that people are selling and losing a lot of coins on. And I feel for it because it sucks. Um, but like, yeah, you just, you have to be very, very careful with buying these cards and trying to flip right now on the market. There will be a low point and there will be a time to buy. I just don't think it is yet because we've got some more panic. We have some more leaks. Watch out for leaks today because there's probably going to be a lot more information on those. Last thing, really quick to end off this video. Today's SBC player, uh, don't get rid of all your high-rated fodder because Grealish, one of our highest-rated cards yet, 90-rated Grealish, is going to be the card we get today. And I would imagine, based off of the graphic that we have in here, Grealish's card is, what's his rating? They don't show it. I think it's on the loading screen. And I want to look at this because I think the Grealish SBC today and the Ederson SBC on Thursday are going to be more expensive, uh, which is why if you do have some higher tier fodder, maybe 86s, maybe 87s, hold on to that for a hot minute. Yeah, see, Grealish is going to be an 88 SBC today. Madueke 84 tomorrow and Ederson 90 on Thursday. So... Obviously, EA is not going to give away an 88-rated card for free, right? Probably for an 83-rated squad, not going to happen today for that. So just be very careful if you have a little bit of fodder that you may need for that. Keep an eye out for that Grealish today because that's going to be a very popular card. And I bet we're going to see a brand new token today for foot birthday swaps. Token number four most likely will be today inside of the first owner Fiesta. So... Make sure you check out for that. And since we're going to have tokens and silver stars, if silvers, I mean, a lot of silvers are going up in price. If you take a look at some of your most meta silvers, they are rising because people are getting ready and preparing for silver teams to be in demand once again. I picked up a bunch of silvers yesterday. We did it on stream. But if silver prices are low for any super pacey meta cards from top five leagues or just super pacey and um, silvers that have gone up a lot in the past in general, like this guy, uh, I bought him for 950. He was like three or 4,000 coins the last time that we had. Had, um, silver stars out right there's tons of examples of cards like this take a look at silvers on fifa 
get some of uh, um, get your team ready maybe get some investments for some cards that are still low and watch out for that because those teams are going to be in demand here uh tomorrow probably as well on wednesday so it's absolutely nuts right now guys i understand it's crazy that all these prices are going down so much be careful. I feel for you if you're losing coins, but I think this weekend is going to be an incredible opportunity to make some coins back on some of these cards as well. So if you enjoyed today's video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll see you guys today in the Twitch stream. Peace out.